So as we, uh, as we move forward with uh, drafting this uh, follow-up letter, uh, I would like to draw the, uh, the board's attention to the cover of Newsday on Monday. Oh my God. Uh, and uh, the title page, School Mask Mandate, A Colossal Mess. As I, uh, as I referred to earlier, it, it wasn't just that uh, our, our voices, uh, we felt our voices weren't heard, it was that there was a great deal of confusion uh, introduced into the process. Uh, confusion that we feel could have been avoided. So uh, we, we once again want to uh, advocate for local control. As Dr. Birch said, we need the authority that matches the position of the school board and the individual trustees. Uh, we need the uh, Department of Health to give us clearer explanation uh, concerning uh, what time, when will it be appropriate for districts to have control over uh, their decision whether or not to make masks optional. Um, I certainly uh, would recommend to the board that we include that uh, if, if the health department is going to uh, render a decision, don't do it the way they did it last Friday. Don't let us see Dr. Zucker's letter and let everyone think that, oh good, we're gonna make this change, and then, uh, and then find out that, uh, no, uh, we're not gonna make this change. So, as always, we're gonna promote health and safety, uh, uh, but, and we're gonna use, uh, I'd like to say we advocate for the use of actual data by community as opposed to just one blanket uh, regulation uh, and that uh, the Department of Health takes the needs and, and feelings of the community into account. So uh, uh, if the board does not object to that, I would like to include that in our letter. So uh, uh, Maureen is highlighting an article that appeared in Sable Patch on, uh, what day was it Maureen? Monday. On Monday. And uh, it, it clearly uh, uh, states in there that uh, the governor's mask mandate, uh, while lifted for outdoor mask wearing, was not lifted for indoor mask wearing. So that's in uh, this week's uh, Sable Patch. Okay. I don't want to say I agree with what he said, but that's what he said. He holds us in a way.
report here tonight from your board members and along with Dr. Birch that we know what we need here in Salem. Let's reiterate that to our local officials and give the control back to the separate schools. Because when it's in our hands, we hire the staff that we have here today because of their greatness and all that they do for the students. And that's why we're here, for the students. And if we get this message to them, it's time for the politicians to give it back to the educators and to the local parents here in Sable. So if we could all you know, send a letter, make a text, or just uh, leave a message on one of them slides, let's flood their minds so they know that a, a Sable is a family, works together, stays together, and we want to do the best for our children. Thank you.
our children.